Hello, this is VBS Office, and today I'm going to show you my top 10 Ubuntu applications. So, my first application is Google Chrome. Google Chrome is my first application because it's, of course, my main web browser. But it's just super clean and it looks really nice. Oops. But, yeah, and there's a whole library of extensions that are super useful for you to install. And a nice bookmark view. Sure, it is a memory hog, but it works really well. My second application is Visual Studio Code. Of course, I chose Visual Studio Code because it's my main editing software. And it is a really, really nice interface. This is my Chrome extension I'm working on. And um, it has a really nice interface and it's super easy to use. My next application is IntelliJ IDEA. And this one is like my secondary coding application because I use the Community Edition, which is basically just Java, and the Visual Studio Code Java thing is not very good. But this one has like cool suggestions, and um, yeah, it's really cool. And it has a built-in Java compiler, so you don't have to run the Java command. And, yeah, it looks really cool, too. And you have different themes and everything, too. My next application is OBS. I chose OBS because it's, like, probably... It's a free and open-source recording software. And it is just really, really nice. And I used it in practically every single video. So OBS's interface is really cool. Um, you can add all sorts of items. And yeah. My next app is VirtualBox. And VirtualBox is a free virtual machine software. I would show you my Mac and Windows VMs, but right now um, I like I can't get it to work. I have an error. An error here. Um, for some reason, the thing is not loaded or set up correctly. So eventually, I'll figure that out. But right now, I can't. So, but eventually, I'll figure that out. My next application is Aranax. And most of you know what Aranax is if you've watched my how to run e um, jar files outside of the terminal. But um, Aranax is a super easy way to create a desktop shortcut and start menu shortcut for all sorts of applications, which you'd have to run commands in the terminal or even folders. Okay. And it's just the easiest and... Using a text file, it's never worked for me, but for some reason, this always works, so I do, I like it. My next application is Droid Cam. And Droid Cam, probably most of you know because my, my Droid Cam video is 100 views, but um, Droid Cam is basically a way to make your Android phone your, and Apple phone to iOS your webcam and it's super easy to use and you and it's wireless too it has a Wi-Fi mode so I think that is why it is number oh, I've lost count number six. My next app is Kiwi Mote. 
I'm actually going to be releasing a video on this soon, but KiwiMote um, is basically a Java application which allows you to use your Android phone as a remote control. So, like, you can um, remotely control the mouse and keyboard, and you can open tabs and reload pages and stuff like that with a lot of shortcuts. So it's really nice when I want to watch TV on the couch, but I don't have a remote, and I don't want to get up and change the video and change the volume and stuff. My next app is LibreOffice. Um, but LibreOffice is basically an open source um, alternative to Microsoft's Word and Office 365. And it looks pretty cool. Um, uh, I need to do some recover recovery. Um, but I'll show you its interface. It actually looks pretty cool. I think they've updated it. It used to look pretty ugly, but now it's better now. And it's free, and it's really powerful. My, my last app is OpenShot. And OpenShot is actually my editing software now. But the reason it's number 10 is because it crashes. Here, I can show you. I'm actually editing this video right now. But, um, so I can show you on a different one. Oh, what do you know? It isn't the my current one, but still... Um, it's quite annoying because it crashes sometimes when you want to drag the thing over like that. Then most of the time it crashes and you lose your progress, which is why when I'm editing I have to save every time I make an edit. But it's actually a nice clean interface and cool editing software and it's free and open source. So those are my top 10 editing softwares. And I'm VBS Office, and I'll see you next time. Bye.